Hello everybody, this is Bladecross EXE, and welcome back to Fake Grand Order Seraph Event. Alright, uh, during the last little session we did, we defeated Kiara, the, uh, boss, the Beast 3R, you know, the boss of Seraph, and now we have a new map that is in the shape of BB herself, so now we're gonna start exploring. Uh, Bottom Black Encore. So, welcome back to Seraph, Senpai. Let me guess. I still want to go wild. My long break hasn't ended just yet. So, in acknowledgement of that spirit, BB is proud to present Seraph Super Secret Bonus Mode. There are no more threats to your life and nobody pulling strings from behind the curtains, so you're free to enjoy Seraph to your heart's content in peace. Ugh, wait. Just hold the hell up. Beats me. I have absolutely no idea. Okay, firstly, I am totally innocent. But if someone doesn't do something, the world will still get destroyed. So this time I decided to have you save the world, Senpai, without drawing too much attention to my failings. So, Seraph's changed again? This is pissing me off. Tell me what's going on. Hmm. Seems as I've become so soft-hearted over there that I can't face my own darkness. Or maybe I should just outright say that I've grown weak? Isn't that right, Mooncell BB? Or should I just call you the former ruler of the moon? <gasps> that voice! I knew it! Yep, I'm going to show you a sight from the dark web. Something that you'd never do now that you've gone straight. Ready to inject some lemon squash right into your pupils? You got your vomit bag handy? Then get ready for a nightmarish show that mixes good and bad kids alike into a dark cocktail. BB Channel, go! Now live and on the air! Another one? Hello, Master of Chaldea. Nice job getting rid of Beast 3. Under most circumstances, nobody would have been able to do anything about her. Pulling off a victory even while you're helplessly outclassed was impressive. So, thank you. Thank you so much for working for my benefit. Everything went exactly as I planned. Now there's nothing left that can stop me. From now on, I can do whatever I want. Me, BB Go. I take a full control of Seraph. I no longer need the moon cell or the human race. As an illegal high-grade AI possessing intelligence far beyond humanities, I hereby declare war on the human race. <sighs> no, stop. Whatever shall we do? Are you taking me seriously? I really am ruthless murder machine, you know? Oh well, I guess I'll have to fill in the blanks for you, Senpai, since you're so lacking in imagination. To be specific, I'm going to make Seraph settle in these waters while remaining a fully digital zone then patch it in to the internet at large. I'll use your factories to mass-produce Earth-conquering BBB robots and use them to imprison humanity. Your brains are more have decent memory capacity, so I'll uh, requisition them as bioprocessors. After that, I'll link everyone's minds up here in the digital zone and have them dedicate the rest of their web-based lives to worshipping me. That is the most delightful, <coughs> despicable idea I've ever heard. I won't stand for it. Senpai, you gotta do something about her. Er, me. Go on, defeat me. Do it. I've got to be weaker than Kiara. Uh, which one of you am I supposed to be? The bad me, of course. I mean, come on, just look at how she looks down on you even as she acts like a Kohai. That's right, I almost forgot. You're the reason I'm not getting any respect that I deserve, BB. I'm the BB that was salvaged from Kiara, and you're a copy of the original that was sent from the moon. I may have helped you defeat Kiara as your fellow BB, but that all ends now. I won't let anyone get in my way. Not even a master with an exceptional track record. In fact, Gabriel, you're a blight on all humanity. I'm not fond of last minute comebacks. The whole idea of underdogs winning just makes me want to puke. So I'm going to do everything in my power to squash you. For now on, I'll be using the slot machine that the other me set up to keep Kiara in check. Everything on Seraph will be your enemy. If you want specifics, Remember those servants you lost when you first race shifted here, Senpai? Yeah, I remember. I've captured them and turned them into Sentinels. You'll have to defeat them if you want to open up the route to the central area, where I am. <laughs> Only way to reach me is to raise a hand against your own allies, as much as it will pain you. 
Then, once you get here, you'll find that I'm an even more powerful boss than Kiara was. And I'll put you through a world, no, a whole universe of hurt. Let's start with some horrific punishment no one under the age of 18. No, 21. Actually, let's go 25 within half. Should ever see or experience. Then, for the finishing touch, I'll send you hurtling down a demonic abyss of despair. I just hope it's not an abyss of disappointment. I said despair! Despair! Trust me, I've done my homework. Hmm. Your reaction isn't at all what I calculated, but no matter. I've been biding my time, waiting for just this moment. When it's over, I'll have the last laugh. And just so we're clear, this is not about being sad or lonely or jealous after being left alone for so long. This concludes our broadcast from BB Go, the true last boss of this story. Oh man, this is terrible. I can't believe there's an AI out there with such an evil looking face. What's going on here? I suppose I better explain. The Moon Cell made an exception when it sent me out to deal with the whole Beast 3 transformation thing. To put it the way the Moon Cell did, I'm sorry that one of my Void Phenomenon is causing you so much trouble. I'm sending in my best AI to deal with it. However, this is where we ran into another problem. During the Moon Holy Girl War, Kiara absorbed three AIs that, when she took on that form. Melty, Passion Lip, and BB. Having become the God of Pleasure, she paradoxically contained three AIs. Eventually, she took advantage of that and salvaged them from within herself. Melty and Passion Lip defied Kiara and, as you know, were severely punished for it. Meanwhile, the BB redefined herself as BB Go and decided to help her. Or rather, pretended to. In fact, it was just at that time that BB Go, BB who split off from Kiara, and I, the BB from the Moon, met up in, a, in secret and formed a pact. Moon BB, I'm gonna hide at the bottom of Seraph and build up my strength in order to defeat Kiara. Please keep Seraph running in my place while I do that. I had experience with this sort of thing, so I agreed to do it. After all, I was able to secretly help humanity out in the meantime, too. Of course, I knew BB Go planned to use me as bait so that she could take over once Kiara was out of the picture. Neither of us wanted Kiara to gain more allies. To prevent that, we secretly agreed to retrieve whichever version of BB remained after we defeated Beast 3. And now I'm caught in the crossfire? Well, what else could I do? Besides, this was all to help you win. I needed Kiara Punishers to create an anti-Beast 3 item, and I couldn't let BB go on Kiara's side get her hands on it. We agreed to leave each other alone while we cooperated to take down our mutual enemy, Beast 3. By the way, what were those KPs anyway? Oh, those? I guess you could say they were designed to help keep Kiara's arousal in check. Basically, they're a way to translate uh, interference into numbers. If you had fought on Seraph without any hesitation, it would have played right into the saucy nuns, I mean, Kiara's hands. So, to make sure that her wish for recreation of the Temple of Time wasn't granted and that she wouldn't fully emerge, I used everything I could to, I could think of to annoy her. In other words, the KPs were actually Kiara Punishers. Without them, Kiara would have, would have been sated, uh, would have emerged long ago, that would have been really bad news for Earth. Anyway, the very last enemy uh, has finally shown herself. Sorry about that. That BB is well and truly capable of going through that awful plan she told us about. So I'm going to have you clear this Seraph no matter what, Senpai. After all, I haven't leveled up my Noble Phantasm even a little bit yet. How am I supposed to help you out like this? There may be prototypes slumbering around Seraph that Kira failed to salvage. So I'm counting on you to collect them and make me into the best Kohai ever. Okay, Master? Um, nah. Mash is still better. Alright. Liver squeeze. Slip knee. Bottom heel. Smart liver. Only heart. Okay, so I gotta raise BB's bond level. Oh, crap. Some of these I don't know if I'm gonna be able to unlock because I gotta get level up items and I don't have a lot to spare. Okay. Nameless Battle, so that's gotta be Archer. Tyrant Battle, that's Nero. And Mikon is Tamamo. Hmm. I think a Berserker might be a good idea for this one. Yeah, I thought so. Alright, Tamamo, let's do this. Now, what's your Karma Phage? Haha. <laughs> 
She didn't look happy. Applies weakness to alter your attacks. Okay, well, it's a good thing I got any on me. Santa, give her one for. Death by Christmas. Easter's over, so it's time for Christmas. There's another Excalibur Morgan for your face. All those defense buffs. Unfortunately, a full blessings of Amaterasu isn't a damaging noble phantasm, so... It's okay, I can get her with a noble phantasm next turn. Hopefully. Jerk. Yeah, I'll save uh, Berserker Ku's Noel Phantasm for next turn. Or well after I get after I get that HP meter gone. Wow, those defense buffs really stack. You can stop it with the defense buffs already. Curse is doing more damage than I am. Uh. 
Oh, come on! Let's see Tamamo's greatest stall and they weren't kidding. Really don't have to use that yet, but I've got no choice really. Plus two of our defenses are down, so let's do this. There we go. Whoa! Wait, what? She changed to her Lancer form. Okay, um... So let's do this. Her normal Phantasm is an attack type. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. Single hitter. Remember that. And here comes the Stabby Stabby from Ku Alter. Oh, there goes Waver. He got blowed up. And there goes her too. This is going to be good. Alright, here we go. Time to inflict much stabbing upon her. While her defense is down, too. And she's gone. Good job, X Alter and Ku Alter. A little longer than I thought it was going to take, but not bad, not bad at all.